Welcome to Trading Lounge and the US Indices Report. We'll cover the S&P, the Dow Jones and the NASDAQ. The Feds have uh, just come out uh, 4 a.m. in uh, Sydney time and uh, no change in the rates, as you probably know. Now, uh, with this uh, count that we're looking at here, we're looking at, let's just start from the beginning. We've got wave three up here. We've got the A wave, the B wave and the C wave for wave four. And we're looking for five waves up for wave one here. Now, uh, we feel that that is in place and we're uh, in a textbook. We would uh, look at wave two coming back 50 or 60 percent uh, here. Um, we don't think that's the case in this scenario here. We understand that the retracement levels have been very short in the move up here. So that might be a continuing sort of sentiment here. But at the same time, uh, when that's normally the case, we would still expect the market to pull back into the wave four of one lesser degree here. But yet it's still sort of sticking to the this 2100 here and um, when we look at the Nasdaq on the daily chart it's got more of a uh, textbook uh, uh, pattern occurring here in terms of wave three wave four up for wave one and looking for a retracement level back here so you can see that in this Nasdaq case here that the market is moving quite well it was already moving quite well but um, uh, Facebook and Twitter uh, came out with uh, uh, with earnings less than expected, so it's uh, help uh, helped move this market in a particular way down to the downside. If we go to the two hour chart, just to focus in on the top here, because it's kind of a nice textbook uh, picture here, and I'll just put this into perspective here. Uh, is that you can see from the top of wave one, we do have a very clear. Uh, five waves down here and we would be looking for this to uh, complete here once this little five waves in the fifth wave is completed we'll be looking for a corrective move here it may not be as big as I've drawn here but that is the 61.8% uh, here roughly and um, then move down so basically the A, the B and the C. So when we go and have a look at the uh, the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones, their their move down in wave A here is uh, is is quite different, really. So, going back to the S&P 500 here on the two-hour chart, just to sort of get the same picture here, you can see in this scenario that the market really hasn't moved down very much at all here. Um, it has moved down here, um, but uh, I just don't think it's finished, that's all. Um, and I think that this here is just the wave A, and we're looking for a wave B, and then down for a wave C. Uh, coming down to this wave four of one lesser degree here, I just think that this is all unfinished. We don't have a, a you know, certainly don't have a buying signal uh, in here just yet. We like to buy out of a correction and the bigger the correction, then the safer the next trend. So this little correction here is very small in compared to what's been going on in the uptrend here. So it hasn't rebalanced yet, but we're also expecting it to be a smaller uh, corrective pattern here. On the uh, 15 minute chart here, just to sort of split hairs somewhat, let me just get this into perspective here a little bit. So, right, so we're looking at this as wave from the top here as wave one above here. So one and two and three and four and five here. And then the A wave, the B wave, and then the C wave moving up here in five waves, even though it's struggling to move uh, up here because, well, partly the 50, 60% retracement level would come in uh, quite close to where it is already here, so 61.8%. So it comes right across, that's the 50, 60% retracement level there. So it's really banging its head against that supply here and you know this number and so on here. So it may not get all the way uh, you know, up above here, but um, on a short trade scenario, shorting this low here just on the, on the outset here would be uh, something to do. But I, I'd have to say that um, in, it'll probably mark me wrong. Um, but the point is, is that we know that the S&P 500 is reluctant to to move down um, and it'll probably prove me sort of wrong. But if you're going to trade short, then uh, that break of that, or you could probably even go higher than that too in here, but you'd need to work that out a little bit. Um, yeah, uh, so this is, 
what we're expecting here, the A wave, the B wave, and then the C wave here. And then we'll come in and look um, at the situation to pick up long trades from, from here. Uh, don't worry about these here. They're just my uh, labels out of the way, so to speak. Now, the Dow Jones is much the same as well. So I'll just have a quick look at that. So this is the DJ on the 15 minutes. The B wave here is a has a bit more form, the structure's a bit more organised in terms of, well, same down here is wave A, uh, and then A and a B and a C wave here, and we're looking for five waves up there. I haven't pulled that apart, but you're probably better off having a look at that on the cash market anyway. Uh, and then down for wave C here, and then we'll come into our buying here. This is the same for stocks as well. So if I have a look at this particular stock here, which is on the New York desk, and it's uh, it's uh, Triple M, and I kind of like it because you know the obviously the stocks create the you know the the price pattern for the for the indices uh, as a whole. So there's going to be lots of stocks that um, have the same pattern, and this is a a weekly chart. And coming back from 209 after GFC here, we've got this one and two here, and then all the way up for the third and intermediate wave three. Then we've got the A, the B, and the C here, and then we're looking for uh, five waves up <clears throat> here up to the 200 uh, mark roughly up there. So we're looking for a retracement here too, which we would expect, you know, when you think about it, you know, coming on to the old uh, high here. Um, I won't bring in the levels here, but that's 172. So we're into group two here at 165, 172 and 180 here. So um, once again, here we can see that Triple M is coming off here, but um, it's not certainly not complete uh not certainly not completed here just yet in this uh you know we'd still expect some sort of little correction here before that move uh to the upside so it's difficult to buy stocks and this is why we don't have many equity trades on the uh, uk and us because you know we have to um you know it's pointless buying into going long into this scenario here and getting trapped in all of this and so on here so it's a time to be in the market a time to not to be in the market and uh so we're just chilling and uh we'll pick up some longs again uh in here but uh you can short and we might put a couple of hedge trades in uh, across the portfolios but um yeah that's what we're looking at uh, across the board so that's all pretty short and sweet and covered so thank you for tuning in cheers